on Thwait to Garvin. Off balance and Sam Pullman there to mop up. He's been a handy ball getter for the Giants. Maddie Turner, well, she was one of the players left out of the Diamond squad, so she possibly has a point to prove today. A long way from home. There'll still be plenty of feeling. And that was a good ball from Wallace, but nice understanding between Faithful Thwait and Wallace. Beautiful work there, Maddie Turner. Just had great front position, eyes up. Long range shot of the game for the Giants, and it gives them the lead. Oh, Amy Parmenter. And what a big play from her. Felt that we would have seen her in the Diamond squad, not to be. So we've got Parmenter at one end. And the Swifts get the opportunity to restart in the second. Great little offside, outside hand work there from Sam Pullman. Just failed to keep ball in court. That's exactly what she's trying to attempt, is to confuse Clow and keep her busy so she takes her mind off what else is happening on court. Welcome back to our milk. That's, you said that, didn't you? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Let's roll with that. And if it doesn't work, then she needs to go one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's worked so far. A good chase down there from Sarah Clow. Yeah, can she? Kira Austin travelling beautifully at the moment. Eight from nine in regular shots, five from six in super shots. And here come the Giants again, streaming down court. Oh! Oh, that's a big hit. Kira Austin eyes only for the ball. Around here. Come around. Just there. Oh, man, how is she up? Moments from last week for you to look at. And we'll talk about them at half-time, and you can get onto that website there and vote. Picking up ball, is just, you know, got intercepts, got deflections, as we see, because Sam Pullman pulled up. read there from Sam Pullman. Julie Fitzgerald spoke to her about that in the timeout, but Sarah Cloud, she's up to the challenge. She wins the ball back and sends the Swifts back into attack. The Swifts playing one-on-one -on -one defense trying to cut down the options for the Giants and better rebounding effort there from the Swifts. When you watch it it doesn't necessarily feel like it's two very very physical teams going head-to-head -head, but obviously out there. 16-15 and Joe Harton. Oh ha <laughs> ha the super shot on the buzzer for Joe. I feel like I only had one option. <laughs> I know we should be talking, but I can't stop laughing. Julie Fitzgerald, Giants coach, this is very serious. You're winning. How have you, how did you, how did you rate that first half before? It was obviously used by your girls very effectively. Is that part of the game plan heading into today? I think they used it pretty well as well. So the great defensive work here from the Swifts, just making the Giants have to go back to go forward. Forces that little error, and Garvin picks up a beautiful little pickup. Post, but the Giants are just stagnant. I want to change the line, maybe just more of a positional switch. You heard, there you go, what a beautiful threading of the ball that was from Harton in the hundreds. So 14 goal assists and just one deflection. This game, and just a little blink there from the Giants. They rallied well after the Swifts opened so beautifully in this quarter. Bench, all of a sudden she's got two incredible attackers as Pullman comes through for a great much needed intercept for the Giants but she's got under the post using the backspace and the drive outside of the circle she's had a really great strength as we see her do a bit of a pirouette around the goal post there. I guess the great beauty the depth of these swift sides which will hold them in good stead as Cloud takes a pearl up. Maddie Turner also has been outstanding for me as we see Cloud She's had a few tips, but she's been unable to gather them in. We see that she snaps that one up. So the Swifts in the blink of an eye down the court. All stop though, in the circle, and Amy Parmenta comes up with the win. Well, I've got my eye on Jo Harton here, girls, as she gets ball in hand again. This will be for her third super shot in a row. Extraordinary stuff from Harton. 13. They have the centre pass. Can they even it up? Sarah Clow comes up with a huge play. Swiss trying to play on, they don't need the super shot. Sophie Garvin will take it though. Oh, Paige Hadley, yep. Yeah. So Sophie Garvin could have played it around. There's five seconds to play. The Giants go long. Just they've got to just get it in. <laughs> what a match. It's a draw, 77 apiece. These two teams have played out an epic 60 minute battle. 
nothing separates them. <laughs>